Today we got Periphery Wildfire. Should be a banger. This is part of my reaction. What's up, guys? Dave and Chris, pardon my reaction. Yes, hit that like, hit the subscribe. Yep. Today we're doing Periphery Wildfire. Have you heard these guys? No. I used to, uh, <laughs> yeah. So actually, these guys were around a while back, and uh, they had this one song, their very first song, uh, and it was so good back in the day. Yeah. And uh, me and Greg, who does our show, Pardon My American, uh, we used to rock this shit quite a bit. And I got to be honest, it's been a few years since I really listened to them. Mm. Because, uh, you know, just the amount of bands that come well, out. Well, we, we seen this yesterday, and we were like, we this, Drake's going to be a, a big song probably, so we did Drake. And there was also uh, In Flames that <coughs> we were In Flames is the new one. Yep. But then <clears throat> Greg, our buddy, texted us last night and said, did you guys hear the Periphery song? And we said no. And he's like, it fucking rocks. It hits, bro. Hits you in the throat, I think is what he yeah, said. Yeah, that's what he said. And uh, so this is a from a, a, a request from our, our buddy, Greg, yeah. who does the show with us. Uh, he asked that we do it, and uh, so I'm obliging to that. Yeah. Periphery, wildfire, I'm fully expecting this thing to hit hard. It always has in the past, so should be good. Let's see. Should be good. Ooh. There's the chuck. They're a pretty technical band in a lot of ways. Real quick, uh, Bono from U2 is now <laughs> the singer of Periphery. Uh, I did not know this. Um, I was, I was going to say that too. I was like, Bono screams? Yeah. Um, <laughs> good job, Bono, keeping up with the new trends. I, I appreciate that. I love it. <laughs> All right. I thought he was going to say a street with no names. Yeah, no, it's nice. So dude. many harmonics right yeah, there. Yeah, just little pinches and stuff, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, like kind of in the alley of what I remember, right? They're semi-technical. Uh, they have some really great guitar riffs, really solid, uh, nice chugs, dude, like I thought. No singing yet, which is something that I kind of lost interest because I feel like for a they minute. They started singing more? I feel like for a minute they, they got a little more, which is fine. I want to be clear. I like yeah. that. But I listened to these guys initially because they were banging, bro. Mm. And so when it went more to a singing vibe, at least from what I remember, I was just like, eh, it's good, but, you know, there's better. So It's I'm not go, what you yeah. found them for. Yeah. This is great. Uh, this, this, is, sounds, this sounds pretty good. Yeah, it sounds fucking awesome to me. I mean, it's it's kind of uh, right up the alley of the traditional style, like yeah. the modern style, which is awesome. Uh, and I do think that we could see some singing, possibly. Maybe not. Uh but I like where it's going, and I have a feeling just based off of what the verses are doing, the bridge is going to be fucking rad. I yeah, have to guess. I, ho I hope. Because Greg, Greg told us all the way to the last snare hit, you're going to be headbanging. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I mean, I'm, I'm taking his uh, word, we'll right? We'll see. Okay. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was Ooh. sick, dude. I like that. I like they kept that in. Oh, fuck. Hold dude, on. Fucking... Hold on. Woo. Dude, I he, love like, that. like, everything cut out to raw. And he was like, Dave, up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was a... Oh, <laughs> that was pretty sick. For production-wise, excellent choice. And I bet you that was a freak. I, 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 maybe I'm wrong. But I would bet you the person that would produce this song was like, keep that shit in. It's fucking rad. Because yeah. in production, when they're drumming... The drummer's like getting into it, and he's calling out the time that he needs to be on, and uh, they're just like, "That sounds rad. Keep it in there." <laughs> yeah, like the the dropout was a, a real part of the song, and yeah. then to keep time, yeah. he just screamed. Yeah, the song's like, "That's sick." The song's turning me real primal, bro. I feel like uh, 
I feel like I'm getting real back into like caveman era okay. shit. Where I'm like, oh, I want to hear that part yes. again. Yes. Okay, so okay, I yeah. actually really liked the singing in this. Yeah. That last one he did where he went a little higher, it almost reminded me of a... Uh... Oh, man, I don't know. And yeah, I say I reminded me, not like they're taking parts yeah, from yeah. different stuff, but the way that sounded almost was like a a heavier trust company, maybe? Ooh, I don't... No? I don't know. It's been There's a while. Like a certain I guess it's been a while since I first trust company, dude. I don't know. I don't know. There's not, something nice name drop. Though. I like that name something drop. Something about yeah. that sounded familiar to me uh, and it made me love it even more. Yeah, I can't put it I can't I can't pinpoint it right now. I will say this. And I listening to thousands upon thousands of bands and going to all these shows that I used to go to back in the day. Mm. Um I feel like my catalog's pretty good. Um, and I've always said there there was a thing like traditionally his vocals are not what you would consider like amazing or excellent. Uh, and, but I also think that bands can get away with not having a traditionally amazing voice if they know how to work it properly. Oh, yeah. And uh, you could argue like he's he doesn't have the best voice of in, in the in the industry. That's fair. But it sounds perfect for what they're doing. And that, at the oh, end yeah. of the day, is far more important than having being able to, like... Because we see some bands that are have just the most amazing range. Oh, yeah. And are just clean as shit, and that's cool. And he's actually sounds very clean. He hit that high notes, and he has that... He does have that... There's, like, a tone to his voice that's... It's, it's a little bit more, like... Uh, Early mid two thousands. Yeah, kind of I don't. Vibe. I don't. I said Trust Company not because uh, the way he did it was like resembled the way Trust Company made their music. You're talking about like an era of music. Yeah, like sure. that that time frame. There was those bands that were like they were like the the alt pop punk stuff that was started getting a little heavier. Yeah, and there was just like that. There was a transition period, and that's what that point of the song kind of reminded me of. Yeah, there was a, a band called like uh, Sky's Airplane and shit. Like there was kind of this phase in the mid two thousands that these bands were doing heavy music, and they were kind of technical, and they had that very like a different kind of a voice. It yeah. was just a little bit different, and yeah. it's very unique. And and so yes, I like that it, he threw it in there, but not as much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was nice, dude. Yeah, and like you said, it's not about always about the awesome singing voice but it, oh. about how you implement it's it. the pr whole production of yeah. it dude absolutely love it let's go back a little bit here that's good I, I like that that's good Yep. His voice is good. That's what they normally do. <laughs> See, even through that, his voice, his singing voice was actually even a little bit different than it was in it the was. part before. That was actually more traditional. And uh, what they he did, he did something that just shot me back a bunch of years because that was one of the things I did like about his singing uh, that he goes to that low note mm. where it's almost flat. It yeah. almost has a flat sound to it, and that's so like uh, something that they I feel like they've done before from what I remember that I liked, like a little uniqueness that they put in there. 
Yeah. Because no- normally uh, when a singer you know, doesn't want to go flat like that, and it the well, way not, it's, it almost makes it stand out more, and you're like, oh, that's different. Yeah, I don't even know that it's flat per se, but it sa- like it has because of the range, and then it drops. It almost has like a flat feel. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying he's flat vocally because saying somebody's flat is not a good thing. Yeah. But I'm saying it kind of hits this really like cool valley for a minute or a second. And then it comes back up, yeah. And it changes the dynamics of the of the singing. So I really, really like that. Yeah, yeah all that's right, good. It's okay. cool, man. Man, doppelganger, Bono. <laughs> this thing hits, bro. I, lo- I love the low growl scream. Yeah. I dig the hallway scene too, where it's like he's just in there and it's like the. the uh, they're changing almost. the perspective of the like when it got into that solo. They're changing the perspective a little bit of like how they're trying to view it. Right, it's a yeah. little bit darker and eerier because <clears throat> uh, otherwise they're in the they're in this warehouse basically with l- lit up. You know, it's a little more bright, mm-hmm. not as not as creepy. But the lead was great. Uh, he definitely technical, um, and that stuff's hard, man. He's doing a lot of like taps and and you know it's cool, man. The way he was doing that was very very unique and technical. And the vocals come right back in with that. Yeah, the vocals came right back in. So good, dude. Dr- all these guys are amazing, dude. The drummer is fantastic, uh, and he's playing a small kit, which I absolutely love. Like we ended up when we were playing music, our drummer decided to go to a smaller kit, mm-hmm. and you feel like you have a little bit more range, mm-hmm. even though it's a smaller kit, you have more movement. Uh, and so it actually, I think it helped a lot with just like how hard he's hitting the drums and, and how powerful they were oh, as a whole. Yeah. Okay. So it didn't I actually, feel so confined in the. Yeah. Cause you know, you, you just have less that you're thinking about and, and I, I don't know, that's just my opinion, but I definitely like small kits because I feel like those guys are rocking really hard when they got small kits. Yeah. The big kits are more like, it's, it's a little bit more whimsical, mm. uh, but the small kits are just like, I'm ready to thrash, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, no, sick, dude. And then him coming back with that clean vocal was just, it, it hit hard. Yeah. There's that note. That's, that's beautiful, yeah. Oh, whoa. Bring it down. Jazz it up right here, dude. See, when we did Sleep Token, I really like when they changed it. Yeah. He's got the keys in there. Taking a little break, a little drink break. <laughs> little, is this an intermission? Oh, yeah, maybe. Interlude. Look at that. Yeah, I like that, man. He's he like, yeah, that's job. a cool shot, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I like the drums. <clears throat> I need to be in a basement bar. <laughs> Drinking a cocktail. Finding that lady in that scanded dress, and we're just going to do some flips. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Sweet loving, bro. <laughs> God. Ooh. 
If what this, is this? If this doesn't want to make you hug your wife or girlfriend, I don't know what will. Dude, when's the last time you saw a saxophone? That was, that was like a, a finisher moment. And I said that right, finish her moment. You finish know that her. when you're making that sweet love because it was kind of jazzing up and you're oh, feeling yeah. a little sensual, and then it's like, we're almost done, and we need to hit on turbo drive. <laughs> That's what just happened. That's exactly what happened. He's like, oh, here it comes, oh. and you just go. Oh, yeah. You're oh. just like, ooh. And then you step back, and it stops, and you go, <sighs> okay. <laughs> Grab the towel, honey. Uh that was pretty Woo. rad. That was pretty rad. They, it had a lot of unique stuff in it. The vocals to me were were splendid. Honestly, like they were. That was a weird word. Splendid. Splendid. Is that, is that mm. shit you put in your drink? Uh, the sugar oh, substance. Yeah. Uh, no, it was it was really good. It was really good, and I'm glad to see that the majority of that song was on the heavier side of things, which yeah. is what I wanted. When he threw in the vocals on the chorus, it was it was fantastic. Perfect. Bro. He. It sounded amazing. He sounded amazing. The band sounded great. They the, were the jazzy little uh, bridge there was like unexpected, yeah, but also delightful. Yeah, I'm curious, uh, just because I haven't listened to the actual record or you know, say on Apple or something like that. I'm curious yeah. if that's actually part of the song or is that part of just uh, addition to the music video oh. and interlude? Because I, that would be interesting to me. And I, it sounds like it probably is in the Pro- real song. Uh, probably, probably it's a real but, song. Dude, I like that. I like when bands you know go like, hey, let's step out of our comfort zone for a second. Let's try something new. Yeah, I think it's pretty sick, dude. Um, so, amazing song. Good amazing job, song. guys. Uh, super glad to see them back being heavy. And, and maybe they have been, and I just have been out of the loop. So let us know what you guys think of that video. We loved it. And yes. if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to the channel. Share, like, all that stuff because we're a new channel. We're trying to get to that 2,000 mark. It's going up and up and up and up. And we would love that every person that listens just hit hit a follow so we can uh, we can share our content with you guys. And I think that we do a wide range of music, and you're going to love everything we do. Hell, yes. That's what I think. That's what I think. 